Welcome back to the novel play of A Kiss for the Petals Remembering How We Met. Last time... Well... Riza here has decided... to step up and become the class representative. But she's giving a lot of big tasks and... the one biggest task of them all is... Make sure that the new student gets along very well. Because she is somewhat socially awkward. At least that's what I'm getting. So, let's continue, shall we? <laughs> You're a little too happy for that, dear. I had taken an interest in her anyway, and was already wanting to get more involved with her. As rare as that was for me. Of course there is, yeah, of course there is. And later something more. First it would be... The first it would just be as class representative, but eventually, if we could become real friends. Real friends? Real friends. I never got that term, you know? I never got that term about... You have friends, and then you have real friends, and then you have best friends. I never really got that, you know? <gasps> Speaking of devil, here she came now. Really? In what way, dear? In what way? There was just something mysterious about her. At least she's ambitious in a good way. Baby steps, dear. Baby steps. Mia-san didn't seem to be partially distressed. In fact, she seemed pretty capable of doing everything on her own. I would try to talk to her. But during the break period, she was always buried in a book, or running off to who knows where. No, that couldn't be it. Whenever I spoke to her, she would always respond. And it was true there was a bluntness to her, but she never seemed particularly irritated. It's probably something as simple as shyness. I think we know why. That smile she would show off every now and then. As beautiful as she was, whenever I saw that, my heart would start to race. 
と距離感がつかめてないだけよ。You knew the job was dangerous when you took it. By the time I had finished running all the errands she had for me, class was just about to start again. I didn't know what I would do if I was late. Perfectionist. If there, if there was an achievement right there, like achievement a lot. Perfectionist. I would be like, wait, what? <laughs> I power walked as fast as my legs would carry me. <laughs> yeah, she has been working hard all this morning. I took my seat as I caught my breath, but the person who ordinarily should have been next to me was nowhere to be found. Probably to the bathroom. Class was about to start any minute. Although I would say there will be no problem trying to find out where she is. Should I try to go look for her? In Japanese schools, they actually do that. Like, one of the students, I'm not certain if it's because of, um, I'm not certain if it's because of, you know, rank or anything, but they would actually do that. You would stand up, and then you bow. Before the class and after the class. I was worried something might have happened to her. A little favor. There's my achievement right there. A strange little one called a little favor. I'm hoping after I've done with this part, the voice came out okay. The whole period passed by and Mia's son never came back to the classroom. But then she was back for the next period. I don't know myself, shoot. I was really curious, so I couldn't help myself. Just as soon as class ended, I asked her. That's usually the case in most high schools. Sometimes you just don't feel like dealing with certain classes, so you're just like, no. Of course, I never did that. The only time I actually did that was when I was sick. I 
and that came after. Uh, uh, that came after I. I came from boot camp. I came back from boot camp. I got so sick that I couldn't really deal with school that whole week. I mean, it was cold as hell in the mountains. Breathed a sigh of relief when I heard her reason. She gave a little smile like she always did. I wonder if she had a weak constitution or something. This was a brand new environment for her, so maybe she was a little fatigued. I didn't mention any of that to her. Even so. Mia-san seemed to be a seem to be in a particularly good mood today. She probably wants you to do that. I know what you mean. I stayed way up too late studying last night. Now that I was getting home late because of my committee's duties, I had that much less time to study. Just like I'm recording right now, 5 a.m. in the morning. Christmas Eve, no less. Something was plopped down on top of my desk. small cake with packaging that i never seen in any of the stores around here. If somebody were to just pop something right in front of me like... I would look at them very, very, very much exhausted but like... Show a little smile. <laughs> like, After I thanked her, Mia's son quietly began reading a book, just like always. I gently opened the packaging off to the side and took a bite. They even had lies for that too. <laughs> sure if we could be considered friends yet. But things like this were definitely deepening our relationship little by little. At the same time, the more I got to know her, the more certain concerns of mine continued to grow. next to me all through the break. But just before class was about to start, I noticed she disappeared. Was it the same thing again today? This was becoming a trend. Yes, I have been missing classes lately. 
I would get worried, but then without a word, she'll be back again the next period. I'd be I'd be wondering that too if it, if it was like that over here in the, here in the states. If it was me, I'd be losing my mind at the prospect of missing class. Thank God I outgrew I outgrew that. <clears throat> but Mia-san was a whole lot smarter than me, so maybe it was all right. <laughs> I would go look for her shit. Like, fuck class, just go and find her. Reluctantly, I went back to the classroom. I was worried about her not being in class whenever she went there. She wasn't there. But her behavior seemed strange somehow whenever she was. In the beginning, she paid attention to lessons just like the rest of her classmates. But ever since she started showing up to class less and less, her behavior had steadily started to change. And there she is. She was clearly spacing out, right in the middle of class. No, she has that zombified look. The worst thing that could happen is like... <laughs> like, that, that nose like... What, huh? <laughs> we all have that, that, huh? Moment, you know? All the students' pens moved frantically across the pages of their notebooks as the teacher spoke. But Mia-san didn't have so much as a pencil in her hand, let alone a notebook on her desk. And then... Yet she looks so tired. Upon being called, she quietly stood and gracefully wrote the equation on the blackboard. Apparently, she has a sleeper agent, you know. It's like she can zone out, know the answer, just write it down on the board. Like, for that moment, five seconds. She knows the answer. Then she zones back out again. She zones in, and then she zones out. I used to be like that. Then I left high school. Then everything changed. Sleep rage, I'm telling you. She hadn't been paying attention at all. How'd she get it right? She likes that though. What was with that board sign? And on top of that, now she was spacing out again. I'm telling you, I used to have that too. And I kind of still have it. It's kind of like a sleeper agent thing. It's like, for some reason, you can actually just like zone out, but still be in that zone. You're just kind of like there. 
and not there. I know the last time I actually went to McDonald's and I actually sat there writing something, I, I just like, for just about five, ten minutes, start writing something. In a previous video that I did, it's like, well, last, last 2015 video I made, I actually did that. You know, you're doing that a little bit too much there. The more I thought about it, the more of a mystery Mia-san became. She was hardly ever in class, and when she was there, she just spaced out without taking any notes. Yes, she does. And the answer is... That had to have been... I glance over at Mia-san sitting next to me. She was gazing outside, seeming not the slightest bit concerned with the results of the quiz. There you go. The teacher called her name, and when she returned, she clutched in her hand an answer sheet with a perfect score. I tried extra hard this time and still didn't get a hundred. I heard grab my answer sheet so I could look over it back at, at my desk. You got a 98. I was ready to go over the whole thing from front to back, but it was just that one little mistake. Mia-san had beaten me again on this one. That's how it all starts. It's not a contest or anything. You've seen that in anime a lot. Yeah, that's how it starts. It's not a, it's not a contest. And I was like, King! I must become the best again! Like, the fuck? Like if ever I was in if ever I was in an anime school, I would step pretty damn lively. Shit. I paid attention to the lesson, took lots of notes, and even studied at home. But Mia San's grades were always better than mine. Oh, come on. It's not that ridiculous. If she was really feeling that bad, she should just go to the nurse. I'm feeling pretty heavy in my chest, too. I don't know why. Maybe a little blockage. I don't know. And if she was really that sickly, our homeroom teacher should have known something about it. She asked me, the class representative, to watch over Mia-san. She should have said something about it to me then. No, she's not pregnant. Her behavior was starting to make me suspicious. How could I not be? In the beginning, there was something about Mia-san that attracted even and I'm on me. In a way, unlike any of the other students at St. Michael's. I even had one-sided fantasies that was some kind of fate meeting her. <laughs> I wanted to know the reason behind her actions. 
And those reasons shall be explained, hopefully, in the next part. So once again, saving. And number five, which is growing doubts. So I'll see you in the next part of this novel play.